Okay, so I'm remodeling my bathroom and it's kind of a disaster, but I've got this really, really awesome painting I just found. Actually, I'm remodeling my whole basement. I found this really awesome picture at like a thrift shop and boom, there it is. What do you think? So, I don't like the color frame for the beachy, cottagey feel I'm going for. This is an antique painting. It is by Marie Chalot. Now, I've heard conflicting stories on this painting. Um, I think there's a signature over here. I'm not sure. It just looks like somewhere in that area there's some sort of signature. I've heard conflicting stories that the Marie Chalot is also a Belgian or a French artist and then also like a mass-produced company. Um, the frame you can see is damaged in some sections and I'm you know, up here too and I'm not that happy with the gold so it's gonna go white so I'm gonna take it down remove it from its frame and do some work and um, and oh. So I'm going to take it down from its frame and do some work and, and I don't really like it's hanging in my bathroom, but all right. So, and then hang it up somewhere pretty. And, uh, I don't know if I'm going to go distressed or shiny with the wood, but we're going to do something with it and we're doing it today. All right. So, uh, stay tuned. Here is the back of the painting. You can see, oh, writing. Okay, here is the back of the painting. You can see writing on it. I have no idea what that all means, but we're going to take it apart and see, I think I've never done this, so I think it's just these two clips that are holding it in, and then I can mess with the frame. So Voila. Voila. Okay, so I'm going to just attempt. Look at that one. That one came out easily. Whoa. All right, that's scary. Took that one out. Now this one. This one just doesn't want to budge. See, that just lifts that up now. And this one doesn't want to budge. Oh, there you go. Two clips are out. And... My painting has been liberated. Is that pretty? Oh, all right, so here's our, oh, you don't smash it. Here's our edges. So what does that tell us? I don't know. It was painted in something else and stretched because you don't paint around the edges, right? I'm guessing the best thing to do would be to, to glue this down. Because otherwise I'd have to separate this. Let's see how hard that is to separate. The question is of separating it and then getting it back together. That separating it and getting it back together is outside my skill set. So um, I am my skill set will be something like gluing this back down. So let me go get some glue and uh, come back. All right, so I really like this Gorilla Glue, wood glue, Gorilla Glue, wood glue for lots of projects. So let's just try it here. But you can see how I'm like really screwing it up, okay? Like totally. Um, what if this was a masterpiece and I just ruined it? Well, before you do something stupid like pour Gorilla Glue all over uh, an antique, go research it. I researched this. This is about three to you know one to four hundred dollars, okay? I bought it for thirteen dollars. 
So all I'm out really is $13. But I also know I'm not destroying a priceless work of art. Um, I know that it is a mass produced piece of art, like an assembly line process. I don't know. I, I, I was reading about it. It's very interesting. So that did not work at all, okay? Wood glue, complete freaking disaster. Um, look. So it like stained it. It got all like you know, like gluey because you got to hold it and you had to kept peeling up. So I had to hold it down, hold it down. And I had like no patience for that. So then I was like, I'm going to freaking super glue it. All right. So then I super glued this part down here and you can see it still pulled all up. And not only that, oh geez, the frame is like crumbling in my hands. I have super glue like attached to my fingers, like in ways that I, I didn't even know I had that much super glue. I poured out of here. So that's not going to work. So remember I said I can't take it apart. So I'm going to, I'm going to cut around it, scrape it up. So uh, let's try it. Can you see what I'm doing? Well, as I come around here, you can. Okay, so I go around and I'm cutting the edges and it's actually working really well with the X-Acto knife. But there's like paper and glue-ish left in its wake. So then I'm gonna try to like peel it off or chisel it off and there's little threads around the edges. But honestly, this was, you know, tedious work, but not that hard. You know, not that hard, not really that time consuming either. I just get frustrated really easily. Um, the next problem was is all this, see all the tape left in the paper. Um, you'll see I tried different methods of scraping it up and I even think about sanding it and I sand a little section and I'm like, no, this is not gonna work. So um, you'll see me soon with a little wet cloth and I just cleaned it. I just used water because I didn't, here you go, there I am with a little wet cloth just cleaning it and cleaning it. And then there's footage after I do this once and it dries and then I'm like, oh, there's more spots. I need to clean, clean, clean it off um, because I didn't know if it was like, ugh, I have no idea what, what this was made out of so I didn't feel comfortable sanding it. So washing it is all I could do and it's like, Look at this, it's taking me forever. I'm not even sure. What we're gonna do is we're going to take the Rust-Oleum chalked paint and stir it up and paint it and do the best damn job we can but not worrying too much because it cost me $12.99 plus tax and, and it's going, you know, in my basement. So we will do the best job we can do but we're not going to like poison ourselves with lead to do this. All right, uh, watch me. I think you get to a point, I think you get to a point where you're like, you're deeply regretting what you've done. Um, if you're watching this, are you deeply regretting what I've done? Because I kind of am. What? I took a beautiful gold frame and painted it white. What was I thinking? Second coat. It's time for the second coat. I... If, I'm going to talk during this one because I want to tell you how much I regret every minute of this. Yet I'm pressing forward. Um, I don't know that there's always uh, chalk paint regrets, but I almost always hate the way chalk paint looks in the process. And I, I really regret destroying a beautiful frame. 
I know it will look better in my house this way. Um, but uh, I, at this moment, I'm feeling like uh, there is no way I would ever, ever, ever do something like this again. I took a, something beautiful and painted it white. And it doesn't feel good at all. It feels it's sad, it makes me sad. Okay, so here's what it looks like now. I have to tell you, I am in the look that I'm working towards, this looks so much better. I haven't decided whether I was gonna wax it or polyurethane it. So it's just gonna stay on a wall for a little while until I decide if I want it shiny or how I want it. Thanks for watching Melanie Mills Toasted Blonde, this time uh, DIY chalk paint. Bye-bye.